All right, well, good morning, everybody. The prophecy is in full effect, and there's a new edition. We'll see what happens with this. Now, yesterday, some of us did good in betting, some of us did not. I'm going to extend one more day because I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to get everyone in the green. I'm going to tell you how. Today, there are, right now we're trending to unders, 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 a lot of unders. And we're going to go with a couple first half, first five inning unders today. Now, some of these games start in four hours very soon. Some of them don't. So what we're going to do, these bets are not ready on Bovada yet. You can only bet on the full game. The half bets aren't ready yet. So I'm going to keep my eye on when they are. And there's a couple games I have my eye on. This is one of them, Braves-Phillies. So I'll show you. First, we're, we're going to check out the Aki score. If we can find it. Come on. Braves. Here we go. 63% to the under on AccuScore. That's pretty good. Now, we're going to go to the pitchers. I'm going to show you what I believe is important. This is, um, is your crypto taking a, taking a dump right now? Remember, speaking of dumps, remember when we laid out this prophecy? This, we drew it, and it happened immediately. I mean, we drew them, we went, boop, boop, then diarrhea spew, and then it went, boom, what, boom. That was perfect. So this has happened before, folks. The toilet, we drew the weed plant, it got high. Chinese squeeze. I even said they're going to push the button twice. It's happening. All right, back to, uh, all right, let's take a look see here. Okay, boom. We're going to take a look at these two pitchers. All right. Luis Gohara and Jake Arrieta. Now, this says the over-under is eight. So if we go to our betting platform, it's eight and a half. And when it opens up, I think the mid-game will be like four and a half, and boom, I'm taking it. So if the first five inning under is four and a half, I'm taking it. Now let's look at their little previous history. So mm, last seven days is really important to me. He only pitched three innings, though. It must have been bad innings, and he got some hits. But over the past 16 inning pitched, he's at 1.65. So low ERAs, we're going to bank on the under 4.5 on that game. Let's see what else we got. So there's your first pick. It's not available yet. It's a nice early game. Is this an early game? I think it is. Today's Wednesday. Okay, so let's check out the D-backs, Tiger Twins. Okay, we'll open up a new window. Open up a new window. Open up a new window. So the D-backs. All right, so the overs eight and a half. So look at their ERAs. They're eh, so let's let's see. Let's dive in. Okay, so last seven days he's at 1.5, so his he's 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 doing okay right now. His previous games, lost, gave up not too many runs. Remember, they only pitched the first like six innings. Okay, it's eight and a half. What about Brent Suter? Let's look at him. Mm, 
Look, he's pitching pitching really well too. 1.59 ERA. Last seven days. May, 17 innings pitch, 3.63. So, we're probably going to go with Milwaukee D-backs under first five innings when it becomes available. So right now, if I click, there's only, it only shows plus three bets. There's only you know, three bets I can make these three. So that's going to be our second bet, four and a half. So we have two four and a half, four and a half point unders in the first five innings. Mm. This we might be looking at the over. Detroit, last seven days, 4.26 ERA. Mm. Let's look at this guy, Kyle Gibson. Kyle. This is more fun. Wow, this guy's getting bats beat the hell out of him. Mm. I don't know. We'll see what that game... Let's go to the Aki score. Okay, there's some action here. Okay, so this hasn't Aki scored yet. They don't have an Aki score on that yet. Anyways, you guys get the picture. I'm gonna be posting the I'm gonna be posting the pics in Discord. In the Discord, on, on the open one. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch my video yes that I did yesterday, you should on CNBC, Tom Lee lying. And who the hell keeps disliking all my videos? If you're one of those people from like, <laughs> I don't know. If you're just watching someone's YouTube channel and you dislike everything they put out, you just like bitch and moan. And you get offended over the dumbest things. You're a pathetic human being. Pathetic. Anyways, another day of picks. I'm going to get us back on track. Crypto face always does. And we're going to kick some ass. And um, keep raking in those profits, guys. Good luck.